Nobody's saying that you have to be tall to be a basketball player, but it sure does help. These NBA players had ridiculous growth spurts to become the players they are today. Michael Jordan The story of Jordan being cut from his high school team is well known. But the role his sudden growth spurt played in putting Michael on the path to greatness can't be ignored. Jordan was a modest 5'11 as a sophomore in high school, but by his junior year, MJ had grown 4 inches and was a rangy 6'3. By the time Jordan hit the shot to win it all for North Carolina, he'd grown a further 3 inches again. Which begs the million dollar question, would Michael have reached the heights he did if he hadn't grown up to 6'6? Guess we'll never know. Dennis Rodman Dennis Rodman has the ultimate rags to riches story, and much of it centers around his massive growth spurt after leaving high school. Like Jordan, Rodman was cut from his high school team, and he couldn't even get on the football team. But after the worm left school, everything changed. After completing his high school education, Rodman was a mere 5'9", and picked up a job as a janitor at the Dallas airport. It was while working there that he grew an incredible 10 inches, from 5'9 to 6'7". Some of his colleagues couldn't help but comment on his huge change in stature, and suggested he join some basketball leagues. Rodman was unbelievably 21 years old before playing organized basketball. The rest, as they say, is history. Dwight Howard Dwight was serious about being a basketball player from very young, and he was always tall for his age. Believe it or not, Howard was a point guard in his younger days and could even shoot the ball. Really? But that was when he was in 8th grade and 5'10". Then, the next two years of high school changed his whole life. He grew almost a foot and stood at a whopping 6'9". The spurt had happened so quickly that although he was now super tall, he was also quick and versatile. He had to adopt his game to his new frame and abandon the idea that he was a guard. That's when he started to dominate in the paint. When he was drafted by Orlando, he was a 6'11", 18-year-old phenom and ready to take the NBA by storm. Anthony Davis The story of AD is not all that different from that of Howard. Davis experienced his crazy growth spurt between his sophomore and junior year at high school. He went from an unranked and unremarkable 6'2 high school player to a 6'10 super athlete in the space of just two years. Shooting up 8 inches in less than two years is a big deal, and it got AD to the University of Kentucky, where Davis was first-team All-American and consensus player of the year. Even after he was selected first by the Pelicans, he still had time to grow another inch, and the Lakers' big now dominates as a 6'11 deadly forward. C.J. McCollum now Let's get this out of the way early on. C.J. McCollum grew a ridiculous 14 inches on his way to NBA stardom. Fair to say a career in the league wasn't always on the cards for the Pels guard. He was just 5'2 as a 14-year-old freshman. Everybody was taller than he was. But he grew 9 inches over the next two years just to get to a moderate 5'11". But another two years down the road and another 5 inches on the growth chart, CJ settled at 6'4". And against all odds, just a few years earlier, made it to the league as the star we know today. David Robinson the Admiral was another player who experienced an insane growth spurt in high school. He went from 5'9 as a junior to 6'7 as a senior. You heard that right. That's 10 inches in one year, and he wasn't finished yet. While in college and playing for the Navy team, Robinson inexplicably grew another 6 inches, taking him to a towering 7'1", and the commanding presence we saw throughout his time in the NBA. It just goes to show how important growth spurts were in transforming the lives of these players. You can have all the talent in the world, but your body needs to be on the same page. Only then was the true potential fully realized.